Um, he then also turned to you and asked you a question. You know, you sort of said, you've heard this vision about the, your four different scenarios. To what extent is where you end up across those scenarios a function of the relationship between the US and China? How much is that going to drive where you end up? And what's your quick, quick response to that? Yeah, I guess the relation between US and China uh, probably is the, the one of the most important uh, relationship, um, which you will drive uh, uh, many things, including uh, uh, geopolitical tension. Uh, uh, although Euro, uh, European countries say to China, uh, don't lock us through US. When they visit US, US say, or they say to US government, don't lock us through China. But actually, the US-China relationship uh, now is kind of uh, play uh, very important role. The good news is in past several months, we can see the tension between US and China a little bit reduced. May not big improvement, but the tension being reduced. I think that's good for US, for China, for the rest of the world. Uh, but at the same time, we should be sure, we should understand the, the policy uh, US government adopt to China call small yard, how fans wouldn't be changed. So competition wouldn't be changed, but the, 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 the tension has been reduced. That's my conclusion. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for being so clear about it. And of course, you have to see that what is the mechanism by which the small yard stays small. <laughs> because the, the internal pressures in all countries will be to make the, the yard bigger <laughs> without worrying about the height of the fence. Uh.